So I'll be showing how this particular air blower, this is the 1.5 horsepower hair blower. I'll be showing how it's been set up and how it works. So here is the air blower. This is a 1.5 horsepower hair blower. This particular one right here is a 1.5 horsepower hair blower. And um, having a closer look, let me turn it around and you see. You see, this is the back view and you can find two holes right here, two holes. Here, him, there's an arrow showing him, showing that here, hair is being sucked in from the atmosphere. Hair is sucked in from the atmosphere through this part. And then this part is where the air will come out. Here, from here, hair will be distributed. Oxygen will be distributed into your pond. This is where the air will be coming out from. So this is exactly how the blower looks like. And then I'll be showing you some accessories that the aerator, this particular aerator, this air blower, you would need to get first off, first off here you would need to get a plumber to get you pipes pvc pipes to help you distribute it out i want you to stay tuned to this video continue watching this video so that you can see exactly how a particular client has um, used or set up his own blower into his own fish ponds and one thing to note it's advisable that um this blower is placed up above at a level that is way much higher than the levels of your ponds, your fish ponds that you have in your farm. This um, air blower should be placed up above so that um, water will not be returning back inside if it's down. These are the accessories you would need to have. We have this. I want you to have a close look at it. These are connectors. We call them air blower connectors. In the course of this video, I will be showing you how someone has used this, how this person has set it up so it will be easier for you to understand. This is a connector. It comes as a set like this, two in one. It's more like a tap. Just like you distribute water from your GP tank into your, um, what's it called? Into your ponds. The same way, this is more like you are distributing hair from here into your ponds. And you need taps. You need connectors from your pipe, your pipes that will be coming from here to distribute the air, you need it. So this, like this, you can see, more like a tap to control your hair, to distribute it out. So you will be needing, depending on the number of ponds you have, you'll be needing this as much as possible. You can see them right here. You need this. And then find also, you'll need a diffuser. This is what we call a diffuser. It comes in different sizes, but this is the one you will drop into your ponds. This one is where the hair, bubbles of air, will be coming out from this particular tube you are seeing. This tube, air will be coming out from it. And this is what will be inside your fish pond. This can go into your pond, inside the water. This will be inside the water. This would, like I said, would be used to distribute. Distribute as many as you want to distribute to your ponds. And then um, this particular outlet, you need a particular type of hose. Apart from the plumber pipes that you are using, you need a particular 10-inch type of hose. This is the size of hose. I don't know if you can see it closer. This type of hose. Yes, this particular type is what you need because this fits in well into this place. And it will help distribute your air. You can take a good look at it. It will distribute your air coming down here. You're expected to have this very long. So assuming it's quite long, this pipe is quite long, you connect it like this. Remember, I said, assuming it's long. So this will be dropped into your pond. You see, you can see this. You drop this into your pond after you have distributed it. So like I said, I'll be showing you right now how a client is making use of this particular air blower with its accessories in the video next. So here is a client using his own. He has placed the compressor or the air blower 
way above his pawns upwards and now i'm putting it on slow mo so that you can see how he has used plumbing pipes he has employed a plumber to direct these pipes to where the pawns are then at the point where the pawns are you, it starts to distribute using that connector that one that looks like tap that i showed earlier and that one with the hose you will now drop the diffusers inside the water what you see there bubbling in the water is the diffusers you can see and you can see that red tap kind of that i showed earlier he's using this in both his concrete pond and even his plastic ponds you saw the plastic ponds earlier and this is the concrete ponds where he's using it the diffuser is inside the water bubbling so this is how he climbs is making use of this air blower in his pond so you can do safe too thank you